What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And I don't even think I would ever be able to say this, but BMW is on the verge of sucking and sucking bad. up guys welcome on back to tk's garage you know the electrification i don't even know if i i just said that when like i had marbles in my mouth right the electrification electrification can i say this shit jesus christ the electrification of the auto industry is ridiculous just a couple things i just want to touch on real quick especially for all my california friends and family you know you know, you're not even able to keep your power or your AC on during the summer months without having rolling blackouts. What do you think's going to happen when you put, you know, 5 million cars on the grid charging? What do you what do you think happens at that point? Do you, do you guys think like cool story, it's going to be great, there's not going to be any issues? Come on, man. <sighs> Seeing what BMW just did with the i5 and the new G60, it looks like a Toyota Camry or an Avalon from the back. And it looks like Corky from the Wonder Years on the front. All right, I, I just, oh my God, why? All right, maybe going that far is probably too far, but. I just have to say, like, it looks really stupid from the front. The way they did the lights. Like, if you want to get rid of the halos, I saw they did that with the refresh, LCI refresh on the G30. They kind of got rid of the, the halos and went to, like, little L's, little lines. All right, cool, you know. And look, I had to catch up with the times. You know, we, we refreshed the Petty Roosevelt to look just like uh, an LCI G30, all right? But... I want to show you what the current LCI version of the G30 looks like and what the new G60 looks like. And then we'll come back and discuss. So it all started with the G30, right? I mean, look at this. It's like elegant, but also aggressive. Even the LCI version, which I really didn't like the face when it first came out. It just looks like this. And then it went to this, the G60, which kind of looks like a Mazda 6 had inbred kids with a Toyota Camry. Again, aggressive, elegant. The grills, the timeless, even the halos still kind of look like halos on the front of this. And quirky. This looks like a kid that has a bunch of food in his cheeks. Uh, I just, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. and You know, maybe I just... Ugh, I just don't... Ugh. I mean, again, elegance. It looks clean. It looks aggressive. And it still has that BMW... Oh, my God. It looks like a Camry made it with a Mazda 6. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. It, 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 I really feel like BMW has legitimately lost their way here. This is just gross. So... My opinions are pretty solid. Now, I know that there's a technology sharing agreement with Toyota, and some people will say, oh, it just means that Toyota just took the engine and transmission from BMW in this in the uh, Super. No, that is not the case, okay? Educate yourself, please. They share technology, meaning Toyota made BMW's B58 engines. They were already great, way more robust, and less prone to stupid failure, failures like the PCV valve um, gasket on generation one uh, of the B58. And just little stuff like that that they made changes to that BMW followed suit. You know, higher pressure fuel pumps for more horsepower and things of that nature that come on stock from, you know, an engine that was one way in 2017 and is totally different now in 2023. So... 
look, man, I get the technology sharing agreements and making the cars mechanically more reliable, but why do we have to mimic these freaking cars? We don't need to have, you know, a, a Toyota ass end on the seven series and the five series. I just, I don't, I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. And the I seven is ultra dumb looking in my opinion, but Hey, you know what, <laughs> what do I know, man? What do I know? I'm just a, I'm just a guy that reviews cars and evidently doesn't know what I'm talking about. Right. Anywho's, let me know what you guys think, um, in the comment section down below. Do you think BMW is on the right track? Because me personally, I don't. I don't. I don't like. I, I know they're going to say this happened with the Bengal butt and the, uh, you know, the E60. I, I get it. I understand. Like, maybe we just need to delete 60 from the. But I didn't think the E60 looked horrible. But this thing looks just. I don't know, man. Maybe it'll look better in person. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it will look better in person. I just, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I think the G30 is kind of the end of the line for the BMW 5 Series. So we'll have to see what happens, man. I guess I got to go old school everything, man. Old school Dodge, old school everything. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.